Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. So today's video was actually inspired by some of the things that I picked up today, and I thought this was perfect timing, especially because summer will soon be coming to an end. I absolutely love these like beachy type of scents, like the kind of scents that almost smell like a really good suntan lotion. I love scents like those. I actually have quite a few of them in my collection, so I want to share all of my favorite beachy summer type of scents today. So I have a mix of fragrance mist from Bath & Body Works, Victoria's Secret, as well as a couple other body care products to share with you all. So there are quite a few products here in front of me and yeah, I'm going to try to go through things very quickly. That way this video is not super long while still trying to give you a description of the scent. But yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so I guess I'll start off with some of the body butters that I have really been enjoying. This one I know recently blew up on TikTok. I had no idea this was even coming out. I actually did a TikTok about it just because I was really excited whenever I first found it. This is the Brazil Nut Body Butter. I know this is a limited edition and a bunch of Trader Joe's have been selling out out of this but if you can find it I definitely definitely recommend picking up at least one for the summertime it's really well known because it is so similar to the Brazilian bum bum cream which I absolutely love I love Sol de Janeiro products and when I saw the description it says salted caramel caramel <laughs> Salted caramel and pistachio scents that sounded so familiar to the bum bum cream I had to try it out and I'm so happy I did because this literally smells like boom boom cream. It is so good for a fraction of the price. Obviously the texture of them both are a bit different. This one is like a thick body butter. It smells so good. It's the ultimate summer scent. I mean, I know Sol de Janeiro products are very, very popular because, I mean, they smell really good. So yeah, I had to mention that one. And after picking this one up, which I used to use this one years ago, this has been around for a while, so it's nothing limited edition or anything like that, but it's another Trader Joe's body butter, and this is the coconut body butter. And I forgot, honestly, how good this one is. If you're a fan of coconut scents, this is... It almost kind of smells like a coconut milk. It has this creaminess to it. And coconut is one of my favorite beachy type of summer scents. So a lot of these products will have coconut in them. But this one I had to mention because it just smells so good. And these are actually very moisturizing on your skin. They're typically around five or six dollars. I want to say the Brazil nut one was a dollar more, but yeah, they're very affordable. So I'm just going to get the other body butters that I have out of the way. This one, if you're having trouble finding the Brazil nut body butter from Trader Joe's, this one is pretty much identical to that, if not a little bit better because it is a whipped body butter and I love the texture of these. So these are from Tree Hut. This is the Tropic Glow scent. I know this one recently went viral on TikTok as well and I picked it up for myself and I was not disappointed. So very similar to the Brazil Nut Cream or the Boom Boom Cream. This is probably my favorite Tree Hut scent, I would say, because I love the Sol de Janeiro products. So this, because it is so much more affordable, but you still get that great scent. Yeah, I highly, highly recommend. So along with the body butter, they do actually have a scrub. Oh my gosh, almost dropped that. Uh, they do actually have a scrub in the same scent. These are a little bit hard to find still, just because they went so viral online, but you guys, you will not be disappointed with these. I have two of these now. This one, as you can see, I've like gone through quite a bit of it. I definitely want to have another backup because I'm pretty sure this is limited edition and after the summertime, they won't have it available anymore. And the last body butter that I have to talk about, this one is by Maui Babe. So they're more well known for their tanning products and their bronzing products, but they actually do have a body butter and it smells exactly like their amazing suntan lotions. If you are a fan of those, obviously, I guess if you're watching this video, you like more of those beachy type of scents. If you're by the pool, at the beach, anywhere like that, and you love those type of scents, oh, you have to get this one. It smells so, so good. I found mine at Ulta. They are a bit pricey compared to some of the other body butters that I mentioned. I think it's around $18 or $20, but if you like the scent of their products, 
I definitely think you will enjoy the body butter. So this I threw in here kind of random, but I think it pairs really well with a lot of the scents I'm going to be talking about. I love pairing my deodorant depending on what scent I'm wearing for the day. I have a bunch of these Dove dry spray deodorants, and this one is in the coconut scent, and I just think it pairs perfectly with a lot of different tropical scents. It smells so good. It's like a very fresh coconut scent. So I just thought I would throw this in here. I mean, kind of random because I'm mostly talking about lotions and fragrance mist, but this one still is really good. I don't sweat a whole bunch, but I guess they don't give the best protection. So sometimes, depending on what I plan on doing that day, I'll use my regular stick deodorant and go over with this just because I mainly like this for the scent. And they have a lot of really good ones, but this one I thought fit perfectly with the scents we're talking about today. Now, I don't want to talk too much about these because I do have a video planned coming up very soon of testing out a lot of high-end body care products from like Sephora or Ulta. And I definitely will be talking about these in that video, but... I just felt like I couldn't do this video without mentioning them. So these are the Sol de Janeiro sprays. I absolutely love them so much. These I think are around $19 each. You can find them at Sephora. This one is the original Brazilian Crush. So this is the same scent as like Tropic Glow or the Brazil Nut Cream that I talked about. It is literally summer in a bottle. I know everyone loves this scent for good reason. It smells amazing. But I also picked up recently the Coco Cabana one. I have to say you really have to like coconut to enjoy the scent because it is a very powerful strong coconut scent i had actually sprayed it once before in the store literally i sprayed it once and a lady a couple little aisles down could smell this so it is a very strong scent but i find that it lingers on your skin for hours it's that really nice beachy coconut almost has this like warm toasted feel to it so you have top notes of coconut cream mid notes of warm vanilla tropical orchid and the dry down is creamy sandalwood with toasted praline so you definitely have this more like warm sweetness to it mixed in with that coconut and I think definitely perfect for the summertime. Okay so now let's get into some of the fragrance mists I have from Bath and Body Works. Now I feel like there are probably a couple in here that I'm leaving out but I tried to pick out the most beachy type of scents that I personally like to reach for if I ever am going to the pool or the beach. I don't do that very often, but when I do, these are the scents that I reach for. So this one, I'm not sure exactly what this line was called. I believe it came out sometime early this year. I can't remember, but this one is just the plain old coconut scent, and I love this one. It smells so, so good. So you have fragrance notes of coconut milk, sea salt musk, and fresh vanilla. It's on Honestly, really great to have in your collection especially if you're a fan of coconut because it can pair with so many other fruity and tropical scents like it just adds that nice layer of coconut it has a little bit of that vanilla in there so I think it's a really great layering fragrance to have or just wear it on its own it smells really really good and I have heard from other people who don't even like coconut like this scent so another one that actually they brought back for SAS so I'm not sure if you're still gonna be able to find it you can definitely still find it I'm sure like on Macari or somewhere online but this is beachfront blanket I actually picked up a backup of this one just because I absolutely love this scent I'm not even someone who really likes those fresh laundry like linen type of scents but there's something special about this one and I can definitely see why they brought this back and so many people loved it it is fresh white linen summer sun rays and soft musk it literally smells like a dryer sheet but also I definitely imagine like a warm towel on the beach I don't know like a beach towel or something like one that you just washed you're laying out at the beach like that is what I imagine whenever I smell this scent even if you're totally not into having this in a body care product like this would be perfect to use as a room spray I mean I don't think I'll be using it as a room spray just because I don't want to waste it because I really enjoy this scent but yeah, this one is really, really good. Okay, now this one, I was going back and forth whether or not to mention or not, just because I feel like this one was definitely a hit or miss with a lot of people from this collection. And this one came out not too long ago. This is Sunkissed. Do so you have fragrance notes of sun drenched orange blossom, sparkling sea salt, and vanilla breeze? I would have to say I was slightly disappointed by this scent whenever I first got it. I guess I had a different idea before I actually smelled it. So that's where the disappointment came from. Now, since 
since having it and smelling it a few more times, I would say this is like a special occasion type of scent. Not that it's like anything strong or perfume-like, it's just not a scent that I would gravitate for all the time. I definitely think it depends on the time and place whenever pulling this one out. But I like that it's a little bit different than the typical like suntan lotion type of smells. There's definitely something in here that still has that sunblock type of scent with something a little bit extra. I definitely think it helps out with that vanilla note in there. It just adds a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of creaminess, but I don't know, this one just reminds me of like a warm summer day. And honestly, it smells really good. So yeah, if you can find this one, I definitely think it's at least worth checking out. I feel like I couldn't do this video without mentioning this one. This is actually one of the scents that has inspired me to make this video, and this is At The Beach. And this scent has been around forever, I believe. I recently got into it. It is one of my favorite summertime scents. It smells so good. I wore this one to the pool. I paired it with uh, my Tom Ford perfume and those two paired perfectly. Literally, the scent lingered on my skin for hours. I absolutely love this. I layered it with the lotion as well. I just think if you're going to the beach or pool, like this is literally one of the best scents that you could wear. It smells so good when you're out in the sun and actually, this sounds weird, but like wet, like in the pool, like actually in the water. I don't know, there's something about this one that I really, really enjoy. So I definitely want to get a few more uses out of it before we get into fall, because I feel like summertime is really the only time you can get away with wearing this one. Okay, so I have two more scents. These are both from the Tropical Collection. Now this one, I did end up picking up during SAS, but I do have it in a little mini size that I have been using. And this is Belize Tropical Cabana. So this has notes of banana daiquiri, juicy pineapple, and golden sand. So this kind of has that suntan lotion type of smell also, but it's mixed in with that banana note and it literally smells like a mix of sunblock and the Hemp's original lotion. Just cause that one has a strong banana note in there. And it's like, if those two things had a baby, this is what it would be. It smells so good. I mean, this is again, another really great tropical by the pool. Like if you're at a resort, like anything like that. Oh, this would smell so good. So yeah, definitely had to include that one. And the last one, of course, which is definitely one of my favorites. This is Oahu Coconut Sunset. This was originally an online exclusive and I do not know why because this was probably one of, if not my favorite scent from this collection. And this is Coconut Blossom, Sparkling Bergamot, Beach Tuberos, Hawaiian Manoi, and Molten Amber. First of all, I love fragrances with amber. It just, it just adds this like sweetness and warmth to it. I love amber notes and fragrances. I also really like tuberose. I wasn't really sure what tuberose smelled like, but I feel like a lot of scents that I do enjoy have tuberose in it. This one is not like your typical fruity tropical scent. Like this is almost like a perfume, um, but still very beachy, very like resort appropriate. If you're gonna do like a dinner outside or something like that in the middle of summer, this is like the type of scent that I would reach for. It just smells so good. And I feel like this one definitely deserved more hype, but I wanna say they did bring this back for SAS or they had it at the outlet. I can't remember exactly, but if you can find it, I definitely recommend it. Okay, so this one I guess I'm kind of cheating with because I literally just got it today. So I got a few more items from the SAS sale at Victoria's Secret just because it wasn't all that great in the beginning, but now things are getting marked down to 70% off. I feel like it's a much better deal, especially for body care and fragrances. And this one I picked up today. I had never heard of this scent. This is the Saint Tropez. Is it Saint Tropez or Saint Tropez? I don't know. But this is the Beach Orchid scent. Wow, this was literally love at first sniff. Like as soon as I sprayed this, I was like, yep, that, that is coming with me. So I actually ended up picking up the lotion as well. This is Beach Orchid Coral Honeysuckle and it honestly smells so, so good. I mean, I feel like I'm saying the same type of things for all of these scents just because, I mean, they're all like beachy, summertime appropriate scents. It's like beachy, but a little bit floral. Oh my gosh, this one smells so, so good. I love it. I don't know why more people haven't talked about it. Maybe I'm like the only one here. So if you happen to see this at your Victoria's Secret, I think right now they are $5.99, but I got a couple coupons in the mail and there's also coupon codes you can use online to get them for even cheaper. So I did pay $5.99 each for these, but 
well worth it. So, so worth it. Okay, so the next one I have, I have a little story time about this one. This is Coconut Passion from Victoria's Secret. Well, actually, this was the first fragrance mist. I ordered a couple others along with it, but this was the first one that I ordered from Victoria's Secret. Like before I got into body care or any of this type of stuff, this was in my first order. I believe I saw a TikTok that Kylie Jenner uses this one and I was kind of wanting to get more into fragrance. I forgot why I ended up just ordering online versus going to the store, but anyways, I did get this and when I first got it, I was like, ew. <laughs> Like, I was not a fan of the scent, but it has definitely grown on me. I do actually have this one in the lotion. It just, it brings back memories just because whenever I got this in and I tried out other scents from Victoria's Secret, I wanted to learn more about all the other scents they had. So I ended up going to YouTube and I found this whole like fragrance and hygiene community. And that's kind of what got me into it all. So this one definitely has nice memories along with it. Although it's not one of my top favorite scents, um, I will still always have it in my collection just because it reminds me of you know how all this got started and now I have like a bunch of different fragrances behind me but it, it's really fun to me I really enjoy collecting and trying out different things so this one is kind of what started it all but anyways about this scent I know a lot of people love this scent so this is island coconut and warm sands beachy no beach days forever why they put these little sayings back there the more i smell it the more i really really like it before when i smelled it i was like oh oh no 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 but i am a lot more into coconuts versus when i first got into fragrance so it's definitely something i really like i think it is a really nice like vacation type of scent and yeah it smells really good and apparently kylie jenner uses it i don't know if that's true or not but that is what they say and the next one i have which is another sas purchase i purchased this the first day of the sale because I already had this one in the lotion so I knew I definitely wanted to pick it up in the mist this is the Bali coconut palm so it is coconut nectar and fresh pineapple I sprayed this one on my arm so I can smell a little bit more but I don't get a ton of pineapple in this scent actually I'm definitely getting this more like earthy coconut type of scent like from the name coconut palm like that is what I expected more not really fresh pineapple like I don't get like a juicy note or like a fruity note in there I smell a lot of fresh notes along with coconut but it smells really good in my opinion I know with other coconut scents they can be like a little bit more sweet this one is definitely lean more on the fresh side but honestly it smells really good to me this smells like a little bit more of like an expensive coconut i really enjoy it and i love the packaging from this collection i don't know what this collection was called but i just think it looks very simple very clean and it's nice to display and the last fragrance mist i have is liquid coconut this one i believe you can still find in stores if not it's still on sale right now so this has coconut water and salted bergamot you know whenever i first smelled this scent i was like i do not need another coconut scent as you guys can see i have a lot of them but i definitely have even more in my collection it was so hard to narrow down for this video i'm sure there's probably others that i'm forgetting about yeah whenever i first smelled this i was like i do not need another coconut or whenever i first heard the name but actually when i smelled it and i gave it a second chance it's a really nice refreshing coconut like it's not your typical tropical creamy coconut i mean i think the name is perfect liquid coconut it's very like fresh airy light refreshing type of scent i really like bergamot notes and fragrances as well and it definitely adds this freshness to it which i really enjoy it's a little bit lighter so if you're not into those really heavy coconut scents this is one i would recommend checking out i almost forgot i do have a couple fragrance mists that weren't bath and body works and victoria's secret to mention this one is by the brand oh the juice i'm not sure exactly the brand of it's just called juice but it was created by cosmopolitan you can find these actually at walmart i know i've talked about another scent um from this collection before i mean it is the cutest little juice box it looks so cute displayed with my other like girly and pink perfumes i love these so much i think i have all of them now at this point and yeah they are just really great and very affordable i think they're around eight dollars but this one is in the scent beach please and this one was recommended for me to get it was one of the ones i had missing from my collection it smells so good i did spray a little bit on my arm i swear i'm going to 
smell like a thousand different coconut perfumes. Okay, so it has notes of pineapple juice, coconut water, and whipped vanilla. I definitely smell a lot of that coconut and the vanilla. I'll link a lot of that mass, the pineapple scent for me. I mean, pretty much all the ones I have tried from this brand are all very sweet type of scents. I mean, if you're a fan of them, I think anyone can wear this one. It smells really good, definitely very summery, but I'm sure you can kind of wear this whenever, honestly. It's nothing too fancy or like overly sweet in my opinion, but yeah, this one smells really good. And I mean, just look at it, very, very cute. And the last one I have to mention is from Mix Bar. This is their Hair and Body Mist. This is in the scent Coconut Palm. Now, I am starting a little mini Mix Bar perfume collection. I do already have all of the body mist. From what I have tried so far, the perfumes definitely last a lot longer on your skin, on your clothes, versus the body mist. But these are still really nice to have. They're very affordable. You can even spray them in your hair, so they're just nice to go crazy with and spray all over. But this one and Coconut Palm smells so, so good. Another kind of like fresh type of scent, I guess. I guess when I say fresh, what do I mean by that? <laughs> this is what I mean by I'm kind of bad at describing scents, but I'm trying here. I guess because it has like this earthy, almost like green scent. Does that make sense? You have keynotes of coconut wood, vanilla, salty accord, incense, amber, and musk milk. So there are a lot of notes in here that I had never really smelled before. Kind of similar, I guess, to the Bali Coconut Palm. Like they kind of have that same freshness to it, a little bit like woodiness. I don't know, it's so hard to describe sometimes with some of these scents, but you definitely get a lot of that coconut. It also has notes of sandalwood and a pinch of sea salt. I definitely can smell a little bit of that saltiness in there. I think this is one of my favorite from Mix Bar, especially for the summertime. This is one I definitely would want to have in the perfume, just because I think they're really great to layer with and it's just such a great scent, so had to mention that one. But that is all that I have for today's video. I definitely want to do a part two of my favorite like beachy type of perfumes. So if you guys would like to see that, definitely let me know in the comments down below. And also let me know what your favorite like summertime scent is. I know I'm for sure leaving out a lot, so let me know in the comments down below. If you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. Thank you all so, so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.